For thousands of years, camels have been an integral part of the desert regions of the Arabian Peninsula. Their ability to function in hot, arid and harsh conditions made them the ideal companion for the desert dweller. But when urbanization took over, some of the camels' most valuable attributes went out of use. A Dubai-based farm has embarked on an ambitious project to make camel look desirable again. Enter Camelicious, a slightly saltier but significantly healthier alternative package to do just that. At the processing unit, four different flavors of camel milk are pasteurized and bottled to be transported to the UAE supermarkets. We have four flavors as on date, strawberry, date, chocolate and saffron. And we do have the drinking yogurt also, which is known in this part of the world as Laban. A lot of works have been done on the animal husbandry side to augment the milk production. Peter Nagy and Yutka Yuhas run the Selective Breeding and Embryo Transfer Program that makes this possible. If we apply selective breeding, then we can achieve a better production and it is good for our company because then one camel will have higher income, more production with the given costs, the profit will be higher or return to profit, I would say. What we have done and what is a new thing that we have used this technology for milking camels. Normally the camels produce one or two uh, over egg and with a special treatment we produce much more egg on the, on the ovary. We mated these camels with a selected bull and after a certain day we flushed these embryos out of the donor mother and we put the embryos into the surrogate mother and normally the surrogate mother are low producing animals so they are healthy, they have no problem at all, just genetically they are not able to produce so much milk. The success rate is uh, close to 60% so that means that, that out of 10 transfer six is getting pregnant. The scientists say that convincing the consumer to pick up a bottle of camel milk may be the bigger challenge. It's not easy to convince people and I don't think that camel milk would replace cow milk. I'm from Denmark and in Denmark we only have cows so I was really fascinated when I found out that you could have uh, camel milk here so I decided to try it and um, it sounds a little strange to me, but it's quite good actually. Yes, I've tried it once in Saudi Arabia in 2005. It was a journey of like uh, 600 kilometers and on the desert way there was a farm of uh, camels where I tried this and uh, I found it very... It, it, it was like a very bad experience for me because my stomach wasn't able to digest that cow's uh, uh, camel milk. I have not really tried camel milk because in sort of so since I've been child and I grown up till now I thought the perfect milk is just the milk from the cow milk so I never had impression that the camel milk could be a good option. Uh, it's like uh, not a normal drink. It's like from you know like vitamins there and everything's there and it's it's good for body. So that's why the people in desert were so strong more than us who sit, who lives here in city because uh, they they knows about it and it's and it's so awesome actually it's a very good thing. What is sure, however, is that if the product does become mainstream, it could be the first time in history that camel milk will go from the farm bowl to attractive bottles on our breakfast tables. Abbas Elawati, Gulf News.